Nearly a month after a 12-year-old boy was hit and killed by a van near Prospect Park, Brooklyn City Council member is continuing his push to reduce the speed limit in residential areas citywide. Our Ali Wolf is in Park Slope with more. As you can see, a memorial still sits here on the corner of Prospect Park West and 3rd Street. It's a spot where 12-year-old Samuel Cohen died last month. It's a tragedy Brooklyn City Councilman David Greenfield says could have been prevented if the enforced speed limit were lower. Since 2011, Greenfield has been pushing a law called the Safe Streets Act. If passed, the speed limit in residential areas will be reduced from 30 miles per hour down to 20 miles per hour. Greenfield explains how this law could save lives on city streets. The speed limit at 30 miles an hour, most people actually go 40 miles an hour. Now what happens is when you're going 40 miles an hour, the likelihood that you're actually going to kill somebody is approximately uh, 70 percent. Last week, the City Council's Transportation Committee held a hearing on the proposed Safe Streets Act. The grieving parents of 12-year-old Samuel Cohen testified, saying they hope their son's death will inspire change that could prevent other families from enduring this type of tragedy. 